Welcome to Unilad Adventure. This week, we'll be showing you some of the most Instagram-worthy locations in London, along with some photography tips for each location to help you get the best shots. This is Rome for the Gram. Okay, our first location is Sketch. Located in Mayfair, the owner describes it as a painting that never dries. It features multiple bars and restaurants that are forever changing their theme. But one of the most photogenic spots at Sketch is actually the bathroom. Featuring futuristic pods and colourful high ceilings, it's as if you've been teleported onto a spaceship. The mirrors in the bathroom do distort the image quite a bit, so make sure you get a good angle where the colourful tiles and the pods are both in frame. It looks a lot better when you stand a bit further back from the mirror, like in this shot. Next up is Neil's Yard. This insanely colourful alley can be found in Covent Garden. It opens up to reveal a picturesque courtyard that's full of small shops, including a bakery, coffee shop and health food cafes. It's best to shoot at a low angle, pointing the camera slightly upwards so you get the colourful buildings in their full scale. There's so many different angles you can get here, in front of different shop fronts or in the courtyard itself. The weather was extremely cold and windy when we went, so we only snapped a few angles, but honestly you could go all day taking shots here. Moving over towards Notting Hill, you'll find the Biscuiteers Boutique and Icing Cafe. It's a beautifully themed shop that specialises in hand-iced biscuits. Inside you'll find many colourful treats including chocolates and cakes, but the outside is what we've come to see here. The black and white shop front makes it look like you've stepped onto the page of an artist's sketchbook. Just north of Paddington Station is Little Venice. This is one of the most peaceful spots in London. It's full of pretty canals and riverboats, making it a great location to shoot all year round. When we were there, it looked like a winter wonderland with frozen canals and thick snow. If you walk along the canal, you'll find Café La Ville, with a fantastic view over Little Venice. Ask for a table just beside the windows for the perfect angle. Next, it's the Arch at Westminster Bridge. This spot is often overlooked because it's under the bridge. Thousands of people walk by every day and miss this photo opportunity. Ask your subject to stand just outside the arch while you stay under the bridge, allowing the arch to frame your photo. Shoot from a low angle and point the camera up so you have the sky, Big Ben, the bridge and the arch all beautifully lined up. Hopefully that scaffolding won't be there for much longer. Another easy to miss opportunity are the graffiti wings right next to the Redemption Bar in Shoreditch. It's really straightforward to shoot here, but if you step back a little bit, you'll notice the arch that surrounds the wings makes for another great way to naturally frame your photo. Heading to Primrose Hill in Camden Town, you'll find these perfectly lined up houses. The street is so colourful, but it's not overbearing with light pastel tones. There are several good angles you can get here. Because of the weather and cars parked on the road, we decided to shoot the tops of the houses. The curvature of the road makes a really nice composition. We saved our favourite location for last. This is Elan Cafe. There are actually two of them in London, and both cafes are stunning, but for a better photo taking experience, make sure you go to the Brompton Road one. It's much more spacious and the flower wall here is taller and wider. They have an amazing cake selection, a beautiful pink tree, and of course, the flower wall. Make sure to book ahead and ask for the table next to the flowers, otherwise you can pretty much guarantee it'll be taken. The most colorful drinks for your shots are the beetroot latte and the turmeric latte. Both make a great addition to your photos. That's all we have time for this week, but we'd love to hear your favorite places to shoot in London and any locations you'd like us to cover on Rome for the Gram next. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more great tips from around the world every week.